All right, this is how you make a custom button in Godot in less than three minutes. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna have is we ha already have our custom button on the right, and then the button on the left is going to be what we edit. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, as you can see, I have a default theme, but we're gonna make a new one. To do that, we're gonna go to our any folder you want, create, create a new resource, set up a theme, and we create a theme. All right, in here, we'll say default to, and then in default two, we're going to click it. We're going to go to manage items. We're going to go to import items. We're going to search up button. In here, we see button. We're going to import both with data, and we're just going to import everything. Import selected. And you, in here, you can see everything we've imported. We can just close it. it says uh, blah, 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 lost anyways. We'll just close anyways. Doesn't matter. And here on the right, and we now have button. So we have styles, fonts, all that stuff. All right. The first thing we're going to do before we start editing anything is we're going to actually drag and drop the default to into here. So that way, whenever we change anything in default, it'll change into the button. All right. Next up, uh, just to double check, you guys have a GUI. This is going to be the GUI custom buttons I'm going to be using. So I have a bunch of buttons. This is going to be the, pre the normal button. This is the pressed button. This is the d uh, disabled button. And you can use whatever you want. There's also these guys. But uh, this is the GUI I'm going to use. It's going to be in the description below. Uh, definitely check that out. All right, back to default two. We're going to go to uh, normal. We're going to create a text, a new style box texture. We're going to drag and drop the GUI into. Uh, we're going to click it, open, and I'm going to drag it into the texture that uh, allows us to open it. Next up, we're going to subregion. Now we're going to. It used to have it on on the bottom and go to three, but now. now you go to four, we have a sub region. We're going to open this up. We're going to edit region. And if you don't know, this is this is in good 03 as well. We can auto slice, we can pixel snap, or we can grid snap. I like auto slice. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll mix it up. I'll do auto slice and then I'll do something else. But for now, we're going to auto slice. And now this will select our entire button. We can close it. And as you can see, our button has been customized. And you can resize it, and it'll resize with the resizing that you do. Now, to keep in mind, if you want it to look like the button on the right, where we have these little pixels, and that doesn't change when you resize it. So as you can see, when I resize it, it doesn't get resized. Now, if you want that, what you can do is go to default two. We can go to the mar uh, expand margins, I believe. And if we do two, two, nope, sorry, not expand margins, just margin. We're going to do two. Two, two, and four. Now this will allow us, and I've I've just done this because I know the margins. But if you don't know the margins, what you can do is go into here and test it yourself. So these little uh, dotted lines are the margins that you can use. All right, and that is it for customizing buttons. Now you would have to repeat this for all the other buttons: disable, focus, hover, and pressed. It's up to you though. I've just done the normal one, and hopefully you guys can figure out the rest. All right, um, if you guys like this video and um, definitely check out the rest of my uh, videos i have a lot um I just have a discord down below that you guys should definitely check out i have a patreon that you can check out as well uh, i would love if you guys supported me that would be awesome if not that's totally okay um you can if you stop you subscribing and commenting down below will support me as well so definitely do that um and lastly i have a twitch uh, I'm trying to stream a bit more recently, but it's getting a bit hard uh, with school coming up and all that. But uh, I am a bit sick. I don't know if you could notice, but uh, my voice is a bit more groggy than normal. Um, so hopefully I get better and I can start streaming a bit more. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.